tell you like it is. Today in our studio, we have a super exciting, this chick's got it going on. Wait till you hear her story. You're gonna love this because those of you guys that know me, I did youth ministry for so long, and I love your heart for reaching young people and kids and just the laws. And so, Kelly Ann White, you have such an amazing history, but you have had a um, professional life in editing. And tell us a little bit about your history. Um, well, historically, I'm a, a magazine editor for Teen Magazine, 15 years near the top of the masthead, executive editor. Um, Let me ask you, Kelly, um, you were telling me about something really cool that you've done, because you've been an editor uh, for a Teen Magazine, and so I can only imagine you've been to some crazy places. You were on the set of what? Uh, I was on the set of Mean Girls. Mean Girls. I was at Camp Rock. Camp, what in the world? <laughs> How did you get the opportunity to be on Camp Rock? Just writing cover stories, feature articles. Um, I've met a lot of teen celebrities. I've um, gone backstage at the concerts and that sort of thing. A lot of fun. So Kelly, tell me about the filming. You were on the set of Camp Rock. I was. I was... I actually got to be, I got to actually get to sit on stage while the Jonas Brothers were rehearsing that scene out in the lawn oh, where they're doing that whole concert. And I was the only one out there with them sitting on stage while they rehearsed that scene. In the scene, they're surrounded by groupies, but, um, but during rehearsal, it was just them and me, so. I love it. That is so cool. You also did, um, you mentioned another show to me, is it Mean Girls? I was on set for Mean Girls. And so, and, and is this because you've been an editor for a long time, um, or did you cover them, or how did you get to do this? Th these were stories that I covered for the teen magazine that I was working for at the time. I love it, and even though I'm grown up, I remember teen magazines, I remember all this cool stuff, and um, actually one of the things that I remember about teen magazines is that on the inside they usually had a poster that you could rip out. Yeah, this magazine did not have that. That's a great idea. I'm actually planning on doing that in my Jesus Groupie book. But what you <laughs> did do, so, well, let me ask you. Tell me a little bit about that Jesus Groupie book. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus Groupie is, uh, it, it's fully written, not published yet. Um, it's basically a fanzine for Jesus. Ooh, um, how cool. Yeah, I sort, of, I sort of scrapbooked the whole thing out manually and then, um, and then designed it from there digitally. So I actually have a scrapbook. Is the original Jesus groupie. I love the name binder. about that, especially because you have actually edited teen magazines. So do you have a heart for teenagers? I do. Um, I, I think I'm a teenager at heart. I think <laughs> that I'm terminally 15. <laughs> That's okay. May God strike me with the teenage years. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I really connect with that audience for some reason. I, I don't know what it is, but, um, but when I was asked to, I was asked by an editor to come up with an idea for a book for that audience, for that teen YA demographic, and I thought of like those books that they put out for like Justin Bieber or One Direction, those fanzines, yes. and I thought how cool would it be to have something like that for Jesus, and then it just took off from there, and way more, and way more of a, a creative art aspect, I started piecing in a lot of different pop culture elements, mm -hmm. like classic concert posters and movie flyers and um, magazine spreads. And I love it. Yeah. Well, one of the sort things of parodying and, and mimicking those types of pop culture elements. Well, Kelly, you know, remember I was talking about those teen magazines when I was growing up. You would open it and they would have a poster. You tear it out. You put it. Maybe you remember um, some of the, you know, the groups. Gosh, like Wham. Men Down Under, all, I'm dating myself, you guys probably don't even know who they are, um, but we would like open up our, our locker room, uh, our locker and stick it in our locker, and what I am, I'm just like taken by this, but you created this whole line of posters that I think young people are going to absolutely love, yeah. and um, these are unbelievable, wait till you see them, and I'm going to try to show them you here, but we'll, we'll pop them up on the screen. But I gotta show you a few of these. I mean, that is the coolest thing ever. It says the kind of kindness of God our what was it say? The kindness of God our Savior appeared. Look at that thing. That is so cool. I just feel like the youth are gonna love this. 
And I'm going to show a few more, and then i got to ask you where your inspiration. Look at this one. Love the colors. Did you come up with the colors? I did, yeah. This, that image. Can I interrupt? You? Yeah. That other image. Okay, let me bring it back. Because what I do, a lot of my designs I do draw originally. But my thing is to take these old classic images that are in the public domain and repurpose them for a contemporary audience. So this image was done in 1649 by an artist named Claude Mellon. He engraved that in copper from one continuous spiral line. If you look at it, you'll see. Oh it's incredible. My goodness. That's, <laughs> it's, that's, I mean, that's a miracle to me in itself. And that is the same image cropped out, if you can see the face. And then I just popped in all those bold colors and the neon lettering. I love it. So when you're making, and so you call these Jesus posters. So Kelly, when you're doing these posters, who is your client? Who do you think is going to put these up? What was your heart behind this? Uh, initially, my, uh, initially, my purpose was to reach teen and YA audience and also um, an audience of maybe millennials and Gen X and that sort of thing that would not typically look at Christian material. I wanted to give them images that are, that are relatable to them, yes. that they can really connect with, mm -hmm. and see that Jesus is cool. You know? That's right. That, um, that it's not uncool to worship Christ. Oh, no. I love this. So let me, I'm going to show you guys a couple more. This one is really neat. And see, you know, I have a preteen, uh -huh. and there's so much influence out there today. And it's yeah. like, I know maybe you're watching, and, and your mom or... You're going, wow, how do I redirect my kids' information? And I remember I was talking to my 11-year-old just about choosing worship music or Christian artists. And I said, you know, let me go find you something, like your genre, your style. But I'm going to go to that Christian bookstore, and I'm going to show you that we've got some great music. And now they are, like, yeah. totally into yeah. that Christian music. It, Look at this. The other thing is that um, I found since I, I started turning into a turning the pages into a poster line, pulling some of the text off and turning some of these pages into posters. And I've gotten a lot of feedback that it's not that these designs aren't just for teens or why there's a little bit of something for everybody. I'm mm -hmm. finding that, you know, there's stuff for elementary school kids, like the uh, the the um, armor. This one oh yeah, let me show um, you this. Uh, stuff for grandparents, just really for any there's a little bit of something for everyone, it seems. You know, I, I got to tell you, the art is so great, and it's just your colors, the way you put it together. I can see framing this yes. and making this a gift. Yeah. You know, especially this one, so hard to find. Like Father's Day is coming up. Yeah. And that could be something like an encouraged man, you know, of yeah. our house, you know, and our dads. Yeah, and they fit in a standard frame, which is nice. They don't have to be custom framed. And I, I did that on purpose because. <laughs> Custom framing is crazy. I think but, um, this one is so cool. Look at this. And I just, I yeah. just think these are fantastic. Yeah. A lot of graphic novel type designs in the book. Yeah. You know what, too? You know what's reminding me of? It's just some of these real hipster tea and coffee places that are out. Yeah. I could just see these on the walls yeah. of yeah. some of those places. I held this one for last because I just love the colors. I just think this is like so relevant, so amazing. That's my favorite one. Oh, That's the, actually see? the very first one I did. This is awesome. Well, Kelly, you're an amazing artist. I Thank love you. the way um, God's just inspired this in you. So, Kelly, I'm holding this other book. You're not just an artist, but you're also an author. Yes. And so we have the Bible Adventure Book of Scavenger Hunts. Can you tell me what this book, who it's for, and what it's about? Yes. Um, I actually saw an ad online, a call for Christian authors, and it was um, an affiliate of the American Camp Association, and they were looking for books for camp summer camp activities. Wow. And I came up with this idea that I'm kind of surprised nobody's come up with before <laughs> to do a scavenger hunt book, and just really had a great time. It's full of crafts and recipes and coloring projects and other activities but it's I, I found as I was writing it it's not just great for camps it's great for youth groups vacation Bible school uh, even family reunions I think it would be cool activities well, in any age group as long as they can read because it's all based on scripture all the clues are scripture based love it and um, 
So as long as they can read, it can be adapted to any age group. And I have directions in there for how to adapt it to different ages. So one of the things that I noticed when we looked at it is like our Wednesday night at our church, you know, if you're out there and you're involved in church or maybe you volunteer with your children's church, we're always looking for something exciting in curriculum. And sometimes during the summers, you know, you maybe do a camp out with the kids. I mean, this is fantastic. I think it's easy that anybody can pick it up and you don't feel like you have to do the whole book at one shot. Yeah, yeah. It's designed to have little moments yes. in there. Yes, you could keep a kid, kids busy in this book for a couple of weeks or for <laughs> a half hour. Well, literally. what about kids that are just at home during the summer? Yeah. And, you know, maybe you as a mom, you're looking for ways to keep them engaged in the Word, growing the things of God. I just want to recommend you um, to look into this book. Where can somebody buy this book? I think great for homeschool. And I'm a homeschool mom. <laughs> so this is excellent. If, if somebody wanted to get a hold of your book, Kelly, how do they how do they do that? Um, it's available in, on Amazon. It's available at my publisher website, which is healthylearning.com. And it's also available on the American Camp Association website. Uh, they have a bookstore. It's aca.org, I, I believe. If okay. you go to their bookstore, it's on there. And so, look, this is fantastic. I love her posters. You know, today, moms, I'm talking to you out there. If you have a teenager, if you have a young person, you know, it's our duty to bring them to the things of God, but we can make them fun and interesting. And I really thank you for coming on today because Kelly just has this heart for young people, a heart for families. You obviously took some inspiration from your grandmother on, it, on this right here. I love her dedication in her book. And um, we just want to tell you it's available. But can we do this? I'm going to pray right now. Yes. Um, just for anybody that's raising kids today. Because, you know, Kelly, I think they're facing so many challenges. But I think being a Christian can be a cool thing. And it's relevant. And God is relevant. I love your book coming out, Jesus Groupie. And um, join me in prayer. We're just going to pray for you right now. So, Lord, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord, for every child that's out there, every teenager, every young person, every college person, millennial. And, Lord, we just know there's so many distractions, Lord God. But I just praise you, Father, for people like Kelly who have given their gift to you, who have submitted their lives, Lord God, as writers and authors, Lord God, as editors. And, Lord, we just pray that you would just help Kelly to keep on getting this material to us. And, Lord, as parents, Teach us, Lord God, how to um, enlighten our kids' information and draw them to the cross. And Lord, we just praise you. We thank you for everything that you're doing, not only in her life, but through her life, Lord God, and into the lives of even our audience members today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.